Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. We're doing an Autel Evo drone range test. This is the new Evo out on the market. We did an unboxing, inspection, setup, updating, also review part one, review part two. Actually, I did one range test as well. I went out 2.2 miles in this same spot, just kind of feeling it out. We're kind of in a light urban area, so I wanted to just test the maximum range on this. Perfect day for it. It's nice and calm. I have a little bit of a breeze coming from this direction, so if I go out this way, I shouldn't have any trouble coming back. I'm just going to keep it like 100 feet high and just go as far as we can on this battery. Anyways, um, let's get this thing up in the air and just see how it is with its maximum range. I'm going to go ahead and put this in airplane mode just so we have um, as least amount of interference as possible and I also have all the sensors off on the Evo I just started it up I just want to start my screen recording for you guys real quick so you guys can see really what's going on on the app and also I'm going to be recording in 2.7 K on the Evo anyway we're ready to go so I want to launch this thing as soon as possible and just go straight out so I'm gonna start recording again this is in 2.7 K resolution and we're just gonna launch up ASAP and we're just gonna start flying straight out just perfectly straight that way right at that height okay there we go so what you'll notice is there's a little bit of haze today um, the Big Island is actually having its volcano eruptions and stuff. Those fissures on the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm in Hawaii. I'm on Maui, but uh, the Big Island is having those eruptions. And what you're going to see is this fog and haze from uh, the volcano. Uh, so not perfectly clear, but this will be cool because we've been having some unreal sunsets. So maybe the sun will get kind of behind the West Maui Mountains when we're finishing this up and we can look at it. But anyway, I'm just going to fly perfectly straight. And what you'll notice is this thing is going about 20 miles per hour. I do have it uh, set at just the um, 22 mile per hour setting, the mid-range setting. I didn't want to fly out super fast because the return to home, the return to home just basically um, comes back at around 22 miles per hour. So I didn't want to mess that up. And if you notice too, over here in the controller, I do have the antennas pointing straight down. There were some comments on my last test that when I do the range test to put the antennas down and we'll get the best the best range So just fully pegged on the right stick uh, looks like we're possibly hitting some wind because we're dropping our speed down to about 15 miles per hour, so Hopefully that doesn't really affect the range test too much Let's pitch the camera down a little bit again. This is in 2k just passing over some golf courses and uh how high are we? We're at, we're only at 36 feet from our launch position, but the, the hill slopes down and drops. So I don't want to get too high and be too over the above ground altitude. So I'm just going to stick at this altitude and we'll see how it kind of deals with, you know, the Wi-Fi from all the homes and the, and what the interference is like as we're just at the park in kind of a partial residential area. So the reason the, the Google maps, you can see it there is slightly blurred out on top is because I just basically launched the app before I even launched the craft up and I just pre-cached this map I just opened it up so I could get the map in zoomed around a bit and so it's a little blurry but it gives us kind of an idea of where we're at because I put it in airplane mode um, you know so it wouldn't be interfering as much as possible so um, the cell phone wouldn't interfere anyway here we go a little bit nervous but uh, Love doing these tests. Let's see, what's our battery power? I'm looking at down at the controller here. And my battery power is still, I got 21 minutes of flight time. And we're still at 88%. How far are we away? We are just approaching a mile. We're 4,500 feet away. Now we're going about 17 miles per hour. So this is gonna be very interesting how this thing does. I may want to pick it up a little bit if we start to, you know, because it is, it is kind of going through a fence and going through some of those power lines over there. So um, 
if I do start dropping out I'll, and I have enough power left, I'll just maybe go up a little bit higher just to clear some of those power lines. But this will give you a good indication if you're kind of in a residential area, how far this thing can fly and how good it is at uh, giving us this FPV. Again, I am recording the FPV. Oh, there's a flock of birds there. That's pretty cool. Looks like we're gonna kind of go right over them. You see those white birds down below. Again, guys, thanks for cruising with me on this range, evening range test. It's going great. Let's see, we've got 83% battery left. And it looks like we, wow, the battery, the flight remain time went up to 2140. So we're already at 1.2 miles. I'm looking at the phone screen there. You can see it up there. And I'm just gonna tap on this top bar and you can kind of see some more um, information here. I thought it turned off all the vision sensors, but for some reason, maybe it turns them back on every time you boot up. While that's just cruising out into the middle of nowhere, let's go ahead and go into our settings and go into visual navigation. Yeah, so it does turn them all back on every time you reboot. So I'm gonna turn them all, all off, guys, just so we can save the most battery power. Everything's going off. All the vision and obstacle avoidance and landing, all that stuff's going off. Um, there was one more thing, it was general, was it? Um, aircraft status. There was, there was one of them that was the flight control advanced settings. And you see the front LED lights? So I'm gonna turn those off. And what that'll do is it'll save even more power. It just turns off the two fronts. So, wow, we just dropped, check this out. We just dropped to 15 minutes flight time left on the controller. So that was interesting. This is about the eighth cycle on this battery. Um, are we hitting some wind? No, there's like no wind right here. Now look at my speed is, uh, well, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, there it is up on the top right, 22.5 miles per hour. So we are screaming and we're just about two miles and I'm, I'm at 72% power left. Man, this thing is gonna go for a long time. As long as we have signal, let's just cross our fingers. I really hope this goes good. Let's pitch up a little bit and get a view of this horizon. It's kind of hazy again, but I will have this up there. There's those birds again, cool. Pitch the camera down a little bit. I see them going off to the right. These are the old sugarcane fields. Sorry about that dog barking, super irritating. But anyway, there it is. Oh, video, first video signal weak um, warning there on the left. You see that pop up? And we are at 2.1 miles. We'll just keep going because we have no wind environment right now. It's screaming at 22 miles per hour. And I'm just full stick forward, just holding the controller directly at it. So it should be A-OK. -okay. It says we've got 13 minutes of flight time remaining. And we're still at 64% power left. So we probably want to turn around at, at least 50, right? There's some golf courses around here I could do um, ditch landing if I needed to. But I'm hoping we'll get back home. Um, probably burning up a little bit of power from the recording on the video. But I have high hopes. Let's just click on the map here. Let me try to zoom out a bit. You can see where I am and where we are, just way the heck over there, out in the middle of nowhere. This is amazing. This is definitely, this guys, this is OcuSync or better um, technology here. Video signal weak again. Let's see what our signal bars are up top. So we got two bars of control signal. Now keep in mind, this is light residential. I'm going through a fence and through power lines here. And this is how this thing is working. Very pleased with it so far. I'll just leave that up there on the top bar so you guys can see it. 
video signal weak again but honestly no uh oops i just pressed that left bottom button by accident didn't do anything it's kind of easy to touch those with your fingers i still got full easy gimbal control and really no garble in the fpv yet so doing amazing guys we're at just about three miles 55 percent power left so we are definitely going to get as far as I got with my Mavic Pro in a rural area away from all houses okay so that video signal week is still up there the link three miles we are at three miles 52 percent I'm just gonna fly until it tells me uh, this has a return to home thing on it guys so I'm just gonna fly until it tells me you need to return to home you know what I mean because it should be calculating how much battery it has left 3.1 miles in one direction oh my gosh shouldn't it be telling me it needs to return to home by now I don't know I'm trusting its calculation because we're only at 49% power but it's not telling me to do a smart return to home maybe I'll just go to 3.5 miles and then we'll just return to home unless it's calculating the resistance of the wind and it thinks it can come back yikes I would have thought it would do a return to home by now a little bit scary 3.5 miles can we do it okay this is getting scary okay so there it goes okay I'm gonna keep going until it just automatically returns to home okay there it is guys 3.5 miles 18,469 feet and I'm just gonna let it do its return to home now and just really hope it can come back on its own this distance it's already going 22 miles per hour so the same the same amount of speed as it was going out at so I think it should be fine um, so I guess it's taking in its battery reserve into account maybe because remember we started at like 26 minutes of flight time and it's only at 10 so that's less than half so apparently it can account for that hopefully we'll see what happens but three and a half miles guys amazing I'm just gonna let it come on back automatically still recording in um, a 2.7 K and look at our signal strength it actually popped up to almost four already so maybe the front arms have better antennas in them than the rear or maybe they're oriented away where whoa I have full look at this full coverage on the top for um, the vision the video and the control link see that top bar there 19 satellites wow amazing so I'm just really crossing my fingers and <laughs> hoping this thing comes back because we kind of pushed it a bit far but we did just push it until it told us you know what I mean to come on back so hopefully it's taking into account wind resistance and distance and battery usage and everything um, it is coming back at a nice 22 and a half miles per hour so I'm not gonna worry too much about it but I am gonna be prepared to do a you know if it starts going down we'll, we'll uh, possible landing ditch in one of these country roads or on a golf course okay so I guess what I'll do is maybe sign off for it a little bit and speed the video up a little because there's nothing much to see I'm just gonna try to turn to the left ahead see if it lets us turn while it's returning home nope it's locking in the uh, the yaw straight to home I wish I could kind of show you guys the Sun but um, there it is on my hat cam if you want to see it it's still pretty far above the mountain so we're not gonna get a sunset yet but anyway this is phenomenal 
I'm gonna tune out just for a few minutes, fast forward it until we're close to home, and we will tune back in for the final landing if there's any issues. So flight time is saying we've only got five minutes left and we're um, gosh we're still over like we're like a mile and a half away so hopefully crossing fingers I'm just kind of playing with some of the auto weight balance and the weight balance settings just to see you know for this evening light like what might be better so that's just auto and we've got sunny it's a sunny day cloudy day see how that kind of brightens it up maybe good for the evening that's no good incandescent neon also maybe pretty good and then you can adjust your K there it's set at 6,000 K and then we can go up and down from there I'm just gonna leave it there probably could just go back to auto and I guess you'll see this in the video too hopefully maybe it's changing it in the 2.7 K video Wow guys, so check this out. We're coming up on just almost a mile away, crossing over these um, this golf course. And apparently it thinks it's, I wonder if it's calculating for like just battery dead voltage or flight time on return. We'll definitely see what our voltage is. You see it up there, it's 10.91. A 3S battery can safely go down to just around three volts per cell so that would be nine volts it's extreme maximum you ever want to go down um, this one of course is going to force land before that but i think we'll be okay yeah let me get out of this yep this looks good everything's looking great Okay, it's just brightened up a bit. I'm not sure what I did. Did I do anything there? Styles at neutral. Oh, standard. Color, none. And I just have it in auto. So apparently it brightened up when the, gro the ground, the dark ground came in view. Man, I think we're gonna be okay. Look at that. There's the park I'm at right there. Up there a bit. Yeah. This is awesome. So three minutes left on flight time. Man, it's gonna just be cutting it close, but look at this. Looking good, three and a half miles out. 12% on the battery. I'm looking at the controller down here. You can see that in my hat cam. Got this full readout screen aside from the top screen there. You guys can see that. All right, so this is amazing. It looks like it's gonna make it back no problem with just the auto calculation um, for return home, just moving the gimbal up and down. Wow, amazing. Okay. So I don't know if you wanna really push it much farther than that. Oh, it's starting to land. I'm gonna force it up. You see this? So it stopped its forward motion and started to land. I'm gonna force it. So here's what you gotta do. So it's even its um, calculation was slightly off because I'm in this park right here. So it, it was, uh, what was that? About 9,000, 900 feet short of its return to home distance. So you may not be able to trust that perfectly. Okay, here it is coming in. I'm just gonna kind of land it manually. There you go, I, got, I can see it here. And it's already kind of in its force landing. Cool, I'm gonna flip it around, spin it around, back it in. I can't, pull, I can't push it up anymore, that's just it. It's gonna land. And there we go. 
let's turn off that video amazing guys so really that's as much as you possibly want to fly this thing so in this instance really listen to the return to home calculation because it, it looked like it was actually a little bit short so let's just quickly turn this thing off and let's just talk about this flight really quick I don't want to drop this battery really anymore cool so did you hear how quiet this thing was too when it was coming in you can really barely hear it it's honestly just about as quiet as a Mavic Pro if not quieter super super silent so if you're looking at like something compared to the Mavic Pro and you want something as quiet as the Mavic Pro really you may want to look at this because um, I've had nothing but good things to say about this except that uh, circle around point which they can update because it was just a little bit shaky on the circle around point but this is all about the the um, range test guys and you can see for yourself we went 3.5 miles with perfectly fluid um, video link and control link all the way out there even going through some power lines here and a, a metal fence there so you can basically control this as far as this thing can fly in full FPV control that's my conclusion here I don't even know if we have to do a country test because I was thinking go up to the country if we're getting interference but we didn't get any interference as far as I can see on all the way out as far as this battery could fly maybe I'll do um, one more in the country just for giggles because this is the eighth cycle on the battery I might get it up to 10 or so cycles and do one more out there on the mountain just to see how it goes but anyways thanks for joining me on this range test of the hotel evo hope you enjoyed it again links in the description of where you can find this awesome craft and i will see you guys in the next video parrot anafi coming up for the range test and full-on flight review so check that out too on the channel thanks for tuning in guys see you in the next one